the new House of Representatives in Congress should attempt to repeal Obamacare in January. While we know that Senator Harry Reid's Senate will not accept a repeal, we need to go forward with this aggressively and assertively right off the bat. They should also pass a second piece of legislation, medical malpractice reform. The Congressional Budget Office estimates that medical malpractice reform would save $53 billion over 10 years. These savings are derived from the costs of additional tests which doctors put into place as they practice defensive medicine, but also because of the savings and costs from insurance premiums. $53 billion over 10 years is a worthwhile savings, and the House of Representatives should pass that bill immediately. Across the nation, there are reports that the high cost of medical malpractice insurance is causing low-income expectant mothers to be unable to receive the prenatal care that helps ensure healthy babies. Additionally, high-risk specialties like neurological surgeons are becoming fewer and fewer as new doctors opt away from fields where medical malpractice costs are astronomical. That's why House Republicans need to move forward with medical malpractice reform immediately to force Harry Reid's Senate to deal with this issue that not only will save lives, but will also save our nation billions of dollars. For more on this and other topics, check out our webpage, getliberty.org.